At its core, what exactly is manifestation? What's up everyone, Dustin here from Manifestation Academy. And I was thinking about this the other day, like what is manifestation? And what came to me was manifestation is asking the universe, or asking God, asking your guide, what it is that you want, and then preparing yourself to receive it. Manifestation is asking for what you want and then preparing yourself to receive it. So if you want to ask for a soulmate, right? Oh God or universe, give me my soulmate, please. It's like, okay, let me help you prepare you to receive it. Here's what you're going to need to know, what you're going to need to go through, and what you're going to need to learn in order to receive it. Couple examples of this. For example, in 2012, I had quit my legal job, my law firm job. I was unemployed, I was working part-time for some lawyers doing part-time work. Uh, but basically I was unemployed, so I was like, okay, what should I do? I was a little bit scared, so I remember going down to, we lived in a community complex and there was a hot tub in the community complex. I went to the hot tub and I spent 30 minutes and I just said, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. I did that for two days in a row. On the third day, I started seeing videos. A guy named Brandon Burchard, he teaches people how to bring their expertise out and make lots of money doing it while also helping the world. I started seeing his videos everywhere, 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 everywhere. I looked up and I was like, oh, I wonder if God had sent me Brandon Burchard to learn from. I was intrigued by this at first because I thought if I'm just saying I want to be a millionaire, I thought at some level I'm just going to kind of download or like get the intuitive insight and say, okay, this is how you do it. Step one, step two, step three. But what I realized was, no, it actually brought me to someone else. It essentially, God or the guys reading the vibration saying, okay, you want this? I'm going to bring this person to you who's accomplished it, who's teaching it. So I'm going to help you connect with them, bring that person to you so you can help you and learn. So what it was doing is, okay, you want to be a millionaire? Here's someone who can teach you. You're going to have to learn how to prepare yourself so you can eventually receive that, get that title, get that title of millionaire. These are some examples. Another example is, so if you want to manifest the soulmate, let's say, right? You say, oh, I want my soulmate. Well, if you're not there and you're not manifesting it, you're at some level, maybe you haven't prepared yourself. You're not ready yet. So it needs to get you ready. So what is, is it going to do? It's going to start sending you people to help prepare you for the lessons to get your soulmate. What is important about this too that came up for me is knowing what it is that you want, knowing what it is that you want. So I'll give you an example. We're looking for apartments right now to rent because we don't want to buy. We're in Orange County. It's overpriced right now. So we're looking for apartments and places to rent. So I remember saying to God, I said, okay, I want us to have a great, beautiful, amazing place to rent. And then I started to feel this conversation going on, almost in my thoughts up with above or around. And it was kind of saying, okay, got it. You got to be a little more specific. What we normally think is sort of thought. So for example, one was rent. It's like, okay, so you want to pay 6,000 in rent? Do you want me to give that to you? And I remember thinking that. And it's almost like, well, I don't know. And it's like, okay, well, we have to figure that out. What happens is I felt like if you don't know what you want, it starts sending you things to help you find out what you want. So it's like, okay, I'll give you a rent. Do you want, do you want to pay $8,000 rent a month? No. Okay, 6,000, maybe. Okay, so let me start sending you 6,001 and then you decide. Started to see opportunities for, for renting at 6,000. I was like, okay, well, this is cool, but not exactly what I want or in the area. It's like, okay, got it. 6,000 is maybe gonna be too high. What about 3,000? Well, you saw places that were only 3,000, didn't really like it. So it's like, okay, got it. So it starts to help me define the criteria for what I want. It's like, okay, do you wanna live in Newport Coast? Do you wanna live in the Irvine area? I don't know. It's like, okay, well, let me help you find out. It starts giving me the ideas to go look for places in those different areas. So I start to decipher, so I start to find out. So I start to figure out what I want. So this whole process of manifestation, if you say what you want, it's good to be specific, but also you're going to start to get what you specify. And through that process, you may learn, oh, I don't exactly want that. It's like, okay, great. You don't want that. So what do you want? It's going to start throwing things at you based on the criteria you set to really see if that's what you want. As you accept and receive the things you're getting versus not, then it helps you refine and define that criteria until you really get exactly what you want and then it starts to send that to you in abundance, assuming you've prepared yourself in other ways and shapes and forms. Another example is building a software company. So, okay, I wanna build a million dollar software company. So, okay, got it. Here's what you have to do. What it starts to do is start to send me people that I can learn from. At some levels, like, I can't just tell you this and you can't intuit how to build a software company. It's much faster and easier 
go buy someone's course, learn how to do it with them, then you go build it. During the process of building the software company, one of the challenges I had had was I, I wasn't doing the right things and I felt like I wasn't being worthy enough to do it. The answer I would get back when I started to tap in was like, this has nothing to do with your self-worth. This is you not doing what you're supposed to do. The teacher is teaching you do this, this, and this. This teacher has succeeded in the area you want. He's telling you do one, two, three, four, five. You've only done number one. Get out of your head, stop being am I worthy or not, and start doing two, three, four, and five. Oh, that makes so much sense. It's like, yes, P prepare yourself to receive that which it is that you want. I hope this video helps you. Again, if you what you want, say I want this, and then preparing yourself to receive it. If you're not sure what you want exactly, start exploring. Say I want something like this, and then the universe is gonna start connecting with you and communicating. It's gonna be your thoughts. You're gonna have thinking about, again, with an apartment. Okay, do you want an apartment? Do you want 6,000? Yes or no? You'll feel it, you'll know. You say, you can know, literally say, no, that's too much. It's like, okay. You want 5,000? Okay. And you start communicating back and forth, and then it starts to help you shape what you want. You define what you want, and then it starts to give it to you, assuming you've done the other steps that you need, okay? I'm curious what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Talk to you soon.